Now, those behind the new enterprise zone being developed in Leicestershire say it could create tens of thousands of jobs, some of them in the UK's growing space science industry. The zone, the second in the county, will be based across sites in Loughborough and Leicester, as Quentin Rayner reports. With its National Space Centre, Leicestershire is no stranger to the interstellar. But now this plot could end up being dubbed the Starship Enterprise Zone. The 80 hectares at Loughborough University may look a bit barren now, but new buildings will soon be springing up. It's just one of three sites making up the new zone. Another part of it will be situated on Charnwood campus, focusing on life sciences and biomedicine. The third site will be in Leicester's waterside, adjacent to the proposed National Space Park, specialising in space technologies and research. The minister responsible for promoting the Midlands engine caught up with companies which intend to expand into the enterprise zone. Enterprise zones are an extremely important part of our uh, strategy. Uh, the eight enterprise zones across the Midlands uh, have so far created 9,000 uh, jobs and brought in over a million pounds of private sector investment. Uh, just up the road uh, in Leicestershire, uh, at the Myra Technology Park, uh, there are companies from around the world uh, coming to base themselves on that technology park and that's exactly what we want to achieve here on this side as well. The new enterprise zone promises much. Six and a half thousand new jobs in ten years, rising to 21,000 jobs and £123 million into the local economy over 25 years. Leicestershire's first enterprise zone opened about five years ago near Hinkley. So far, the Myra Automotive Technology Park has attracted 33 companies and created over 500 jobs. Myra has flown. Myra's the busiest one so far in the country. This has, in my opinion, potential to do even better because of its location by the M1 and 5,000 houses across the road. The new enterprise zone can't come soon enough. After just 18 months, the university's innovation centre is already 90% full. Quentin Rayner, BBC's Midlands Today, Loughborough.